Hi, welcome back to my channel and today I have for you my May favorites, yay! I don't have too many, I never have too many products to share, so I'm just going to get right into it. The first product is a nail polish. It is the Trina Glaze Refresh Mint. This fun minty color. I actually have on this nail right here. And um, I've only used it for this nail, but once I put it on, it was so pigmented. It's like, oh my goodness, this is the next color that I'm going to paint on my nails. Right now I have like uh, polka dots going on. My nails are longer, but I trimmed them. And I don't know what I should paint them next because I'm not a huge design my nails kind of person. So yeah, this is really, really pretty. Uh, my next product is actually my EOS lip balm. It's the green one. Um, I don't know. I think because one of the... I've run out of my Nivea Kiss of Moisture and Milk and Honey. And then I had repurchased the strawberry one. But the strawberry one is so pigmented that it looks like I'm wearing um, like a red tint on my lips. And I don't want that on my lips all the time. So... And I don't want to open any other chapstick since this is open already. I've been just using this a lot. And it smells really, really good too. The next product is, I had this last month, but I've been using this seriously every day. And this is the Physician's Formula. Um, this is a natural color, the Happy Booster Blush. And that's what it looks like. And this just, it's a really nice um, glow to the cheeks and it's probably why I've been using it every day. It's so easy to wear. It goes with everything. A dark eye, a natural eye, it just it goes with everything. So I really really love this. Another product that I've been loving is my Pollen Joe eye gloss in number three and it's just this purple one and um I've had this for a while, but I've started using it again just because I've been wearing purple eyeshadows a lot lately. I don't know if you can see that because the lighting's really bright, but there it is right there. And I don't know, it provides a really good eye base. It's kind of pricey though, but um, it's definitely one of my favorites. And it definitely helps the shadows stay on my lids. And it's been hot lately in SoCal, so this is a really, really good primer. Of course, then, as you know, my eyelids aren't really that oily, so I don't have a huge problem with creasing. As long as I put some kind of primer on, my eyes are fine. Another product is my Stila palette. And this is the Tokyo one. Uh, that's $10. You can get it at Sephora. I got mine at my Nordstrom Rack and that's what the colors look like. I've used this as um, like a lip color and I've also used it on my cheeks which, which works really really nice too. I used a um, my e.l.f. flat top kabo or flat top brush um, and this I just pat it in and pat it on my cheeks and it gives a really really cute pink cheek. And all the colors are very, very pigmented. I highly recommend this palette. Um, you can make it a, nat a neutral eye or you can, you know, add a pop of blue for fun. Um, you can do like a smoky eye with these colors. You can do so many looks with just those four colors. And um, it's a s pretty slim palette. It's great for traveling, I think. And I highly recommend this. This has definitely um, been, it's been one of my favorite palettes to use this month. And because it's been so hot, um, on my after my I put my BB cream on, I like to set it with some kind of powder. And this month I've been using my Anna Sui powder. It's really, really pretty. Um, I don't use the cute, fun purple puff. I use a brush to set my powder, but it's just a loose powder. I don't know if you can see it without me spilling it. Um, but... It definitely helps my BB cream stay in place all day without having me getting all oily and whatnot. Usually um, when I wear my BB cream in the winter, I don't have too much of a problem with me getting too oily, but now that it's getting hot, I do need a setting powder, so I use that. Uh, last two products are lip products. This is 
the Rimmel Nude Delight and someone in the UK actually got this for me. It's the prettiest nude and it's so moisturizing on the lips. We don't have this in the US, um, but if you have a buddy in Canada or UK, they can get it for you. And this color seriously is my go-to nude lipstick now. And it's not too brown. It'll look really brown, but it's not too brown on the lips, so I really like it. The last product is a Victoria's Secret lip gloss. This is an Innocent. It's a really cute baby, baby pink. And the applicator is a doe foot. As you can see, I have new lighting going on because I want to film at night, so I bought a lamp from Ikea. So let me know how this works. <laughs> and... Let's see, do a swatch for you. This is probably the milkiest pink lip gloss I have. There it is right there. But it's so cute. Um, I love baby pink lipsticks and to top it off with this gloss is just perfect. So um, this I think was 10 or $11 at Victoria's Secret. Um, they still have them. I was there just the other day. I had a coupon, like another $10 off coupon. I was going to buy a backup of this, but I decided to try a um, one of their lipsticks. It's actually what I have on my lips right now. I decided to go with a red lip. And I have to say that their lipsticks are very, very creamy. So I will probably go back and get more of these. Um... Yeah, this is my first time wearing this lipstick, so I don't know if it'll make it into my favorites for next month, because red lips are kind of hard to wear all the time, for me at least. Some ladies pull it off really nicely. But um, anyways, that's my favorites for this month, and if you have any questions about my products, um, please comment, um, like or dislike if you want, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye!